Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Kim, a fairly average mum, and today I've got my weekly B&M haul. So let's get on. Hiya, so I went to B&M on my own because my partner had to work, same as when I went to own baggies because it were all on the same day. And um, and I just had a little trip around. To be honest, it absolutely bucketed down on the day that I went. So um, I ducked inside. Of course, that were a good enough reason for me to stay in, wasn't it? And just have a little look round while it were pouring down. So I stayed there until it stopped raining about an hour later. And that's no exaggeration. It is quite a big B&M, to be fair. Um, it's got an upstairs and a downstairs, so I just had a right good look round, you know. Um, and I've got a, I've got a few things, so I'll show you what I got. Okay, so I'll show you my groceries first, right? So I bought some of this. I love this Lenore. My partner usually buys um, fabric softener from uh, Jeff Amazon. Right, Jeff Bezos. Anyway, him. Right, he usually gets it from him, but we're out of it. And I, do, I think he might have stopped buying it because he started buying those little bally things. But I don't think they work as like fabric softener. I think they make your stuff smell nice, but I don't, they're not anti-static, are they? You know, so whereas this is. So I bought myself some of this. Um, It's just, it's the Lenore I used to get. I really like it. They used to have it in a silver one as well in a goldy colour bottle, but... Oh, yeah, it just smells how I remember. So I'm right happy I've got that. So that's my new um, fabric softener anyway. So I'm happy about that. Then I got some tinned fruit. So I got some of these mandarin segments. Got a couple of these. I really like these. I quite like tinned fruit from time to time, you know. Sometimes mood takes me. And I also got this Del Monte pineapple chunks. Like them as well. And this has the added advantage of you don't need a tin opener, which is brilliant. I like these tins. So I've got a couple of each of those, um, just in case I fancied a bit of fruit, you know, which I do sometimes. You know, as a break from chocolate and crisps. Then I bought a pack of three sweet corn, but I bought it yesterday. So sadly, I've already used one tin. <laughs> so sorry about that. Right. So this war in a pack of three. Um, and I only ever buy Green Giant. I love Green Giant. Oh, that's a lie. I sometimes get a little tin of something else if I can't get this. But this is my preferred one. I really do like this. It tastes 300 times better than other ones, I think, you know. And because you can get it at bargain shops like B&M, you know, it don't feel quite so pricey. So anyway, I got those and I've already ate one. Then I got myself some of this Fanta. I intended drinking this when I got out of B&M, but I just never got around to it. So I've got that now. So yeah, I'll, I'll have that at some point. I'm building a little tower next to me here. What stuff? Look, let me move it across. Oh no, it's there, look. Right, it's over here, this. Right, it's on a tower now with the other cans. Then I wanted to get some shampoo, but I had to look through all the different ones that were there because I wanted to get some that were sulfate-free because I like it better because I find it lathers up better. It doesn't leave any residue on your hair and stuff. My hair is so fine and lank that if I, if I don't use the sulfate-free, it just is proper, like, slapped down and it just, oh, it looks terrible. So, anyway, I found this one, but it was so cheap. So, this were actually sulfate-free, so I'm going to give it a go. Oh, it smells amazing. It does smell like, like synthetic banana. I'll tell you what it smells like, those little banana foamy sweets that you used to get. So nice, I like it. So I got that one anyway. And because I'd seen that, then I saw this that were an air mask in the same variety. So I thought I'd get that. Oh, look at it. That smells less like banana. Yeah, smells less like banana. But I thought I'd give it a go anyway. Try them both together, you know. Paraben free. Somebody told me what a paraben is. Is it some sort of... Um, preservative or something i think might have made that up i don't know apparently you leave this in for seven to ten minutes 
but anyway I liked it were dirt cheap as well really really cheap and I especially liked it because I got the banana shampoo at the same time so that'll tide me on a little bit then I got some more of these fabulosa wipes right so last week I bought my partner bought a packet of these every time he goes shopping does he come back with about half a dozen packets of disinfectant wipes we've got a cupboard full I'm not joking you um but the, he normally gets all the Dettol ones and stuff like that. I don't like the smell of them. I think they smell horrible. So, last week he bought um, Rainbow Drops fragrance, a fabulosa, and it smelled really nice. I tried it, I liked it. So, when I seen this one, which were Wild Rhubarb, which were one of the sprays that I used to get. Yeah, I used to get it in that fragrance. Thought I'll go for it. Oh, yeah, that smells lovely. That's really nice. So, I'm really happy with these. I'm going to use these. When, when when I'm cleaning around, I'm going to use Fabulosa ones and leave Dettol ones for him because he likes them. I prefer these. So, yeah, really happy with those. Then I got some Dairy Relief at Family just because they like them. It's not special about them. You know, they're just Dairy Relief. What can you say? And then I've seen these and I thought I'd try them. Plantain crisps in sweet chilli flavour and I can eat them. Let's try them. Look, that's what they look like. Oh, I'm not sure about how they smell. <laughs> I don't recommend. I definitely don't recommend those. They are awful. <laughs> yeah. Not for me, then. Then I've been getting some stuff that's like craft things. So I want to have a go at different crafts. So I've seen this cross stitch sampler. Well, I bought some little mini cross stitches. So I'm going to start with them and then I'm going to move on to this one. Because it came with one of them hoops. I thought that might be a bit easier to work with. I mean, it's quite a complicated design. I don't know if it's going to end up looking like that. But anyway, I thought I'd give it a go. If it's an 8 by 10 frame, might not when I've finished with it, you know. Be kind. Mm. Anyway, I'll, I'll give it a go, you know. I'll try my best with it. If it looks like that when I've finished, I'll be so impressed with myself. I'll post a picture on my Instagram if it, if it, if it looks like that when I'm finished. If you don't see a picture of any cross stitch on my Instagram, you'll know how badly it's gone, you know. Anyway, that's that one. And then I've seen a load of like anti-back wipes, which I thought would be brilliant for boys, right? Because it must be hard, you know, trying to... I mean, I can remember when my kids were little, just trying to keep their hands clean. Trying to keep their hands from getting bacteria on them must be a flipping nightmare. So anyway, I've seen all these, I thought I'd send them to my daughter. So this is anti-back hand wipes in this variety. We were there by... Care Essentials. So I got that. That's the first sort. Then I've seen this one next to it. This is by Hygienics Hand Wipes. Pack of three. You get 10 in each one. So that's 30 in that. How many did you get in that one? 20 in that one. So not bad that. And then I've seen this one. I got this. By Pure Well. I thought she could try them all, see what she liked best, and I'll get her some more. Because it, I think it might be a little bit easier, you know, trying to keep the boys' hands clean and wet and uh, anti-backed with some of those. So, yeah, I thought they'd be a useful gift rather than me buying all this nonsense that I usually buy. So, yeah, got those. And then speaking of nonsense that I normally buy, I got this for them. Um, so, it's like it blows bubbles so last week I bought them a load of bubbles. But I remember from when I was working in nurses and stuff that if you stand blowing bubbles for ages, it makes you go dizzy, right? Honestly, it does. It's it's not a joke, right? It really does send you like do lally. So when I seen this, I thought, oh, this is ideal. So you just put some bubble mixture in there and you wind this. It's quite noisy. Sorry about that. And then it goes through and there's air comes out of it and it blows the bubbles. Now, how good it's going to be, I don't know. Shall we see if we'll give it a go? I think I might have some bubbles. Right, I've got some bubble mixture here. We'll try it. 
because I can always wash it out for it. You just put a bit of bubble mixture in the bottom there, look, like that. There we go. Let's see if it works now. Look at that! How amazing is that? That's fantastic. Oh, I love it. I'll clean it out for her and send her it. That's fantastic. So, yeah, I think it was £2.49, that. Honestly, well worth it. If you've got little kiddies and you're sick of blowing bubbles, get one of these fishies. It'll do it all work for you, look. Let's work done. Fantastic. You get hundreds of bubbles out of it as well. That's brilliant. Just sit there, fishy. Don't move now. Spilling all your juice. And then I also seen this book, which is a Peter Rabbit tale. Now, my daughter's got a friend who's got a new baby. And the girl who's got the new baby loves Peter Rabbit for a little girl. So when I seen this little board book, I thought of her. And I thought I'd send it to my daughter so she could pass it on to her pal. Because she really does like Peter Rabbit. I used to love Beatrix Potter books when I was a kid. Yeah, I had the whole set of 23 books that there are um, when I was a kid. So I did love them. My mom, I used to save my pocket money and it used to take me three weeks to save up enough to get one book. And I ended up collecting them all. And sometimes at birthdays and Christmas, I'd get one at books as well with me presents and things. So, yeah. So Beatrix Potter, I love. So I thought I'd get her that anyway. It was honestly so cheap. But I just thought, oh, it's such a cute little thing to send her. Anyway, that's that. And then I found this. I got one of these, which is like a rubbery one. Right. Now, I'm sick of cleaning out the flipping sink. What happens in this house, right? is we've got a dishwasher, but instead of people putting stuff straight in the dishwasher, you know what it's like? The dishwasher will be full of clean pots. So all dirty pots just get slung in the sink until I come along and then empty the dishwasher on my partner does and then put all the dirty pots in. But by that time, the sink is absolutely minging. Right, I'm not putting my hand in a minging sink. I'm not being funny about it. And the little scrubby brushes and stuff that we've got, little scrubbers, you have to hold with your hand. So I thought, I'm buying myself this. I'm going to hide it from everybody else. And I'm going to use it to clean the sink rather than sticking my hand in there and having minging hands. So, yeah, it, they had it in all different colours. It were only two quid. I thought it'd be brilliant. What's it say? Anti-back rubber dish brush. Well, it's going to clean the sink in this house. So, yeah, loved it. It's all rubbery. Look, like that. So fantastic. I'm using it. Me. Just me. Right, then I've seen these little notebooks. Well, I've started a collection of notebooks, haven't I? So what can I do? Right, I um, this is what happens with me, right? I get two things that look very similar and that becomes the start of a collection. It just happens. Currently, the new collections involve a pineapple collection, a trinket dish collection, notebooks, stickers... Pens, pencils. These are just the new collections. These are not the old collections that I'm already got. Anyway, so because one of my new collections, I'm just putting the lid on bubbles there. One of the new collections is notebooks. I seen these and I thought, oh, I'm having them. They're one pound fifty for three little notebooks, but they're all different and they're all cute. So I have. I thought I'm having them. Oh, look, they're so cute. That one's got little donuts on it. I think the donuts anyway, they look like donuts to me. They're cute. Oh my goodness, this has got a pineapple on it. Now, here's the decision. Is that going to be part of my pineapple collection or is that going to be part of my notebook collection? Who knows? Could go either way, couldn't it? it says beyond cool on it. I just loved it. And then this one has got unicorns and things on, little rainbows, cats with crowns. What's not to love? They're just little jotters. But anyway, they're going to be part of my collections. But I thought it was just going to be part of one collection. It's turned out I've got things to add to two collections there. Good. All right, I haven't been able to get slippers at all in any shops because I've got big feet. I've got a size seven foot, right? And every time I go into like own bargains or B&M, they've got all these slippers. None of them fit me. So I'd already been into own bargains, found a pair of slippers in a grey with a pom-pom on top that fit me. Going to B&M, lo and behold, they've got a pair of slippers that fit me that's got a K on front. 
Right, now they did have these in three different colours. I liked both the other colours better. One colour were like grey, like silvery grey colour. I liked that. My favourite colour were like a bluey colour. But um, I just were happy that I managed to get one in my size with a K on it. Who knew? So I thought I've got to have them. So £5 for these. So I've now got slippers and spare slippers. I mean, who knew with a K on? Just in case I forget who I am. You know, it'll give me a little prompt. And I'm saying that as a joke, but actually, more and more these days, I'm forgetting stuff, you know. I, I mean, I always wondered how my kids would know if I ever got Alzheimer's. I know that's not a joking matter, but I did wonder how my kids would know since I'm as mad as a box of frogs now. You know, so what's going to happen when that happens to me? Maybe it's already happening to me and just nobody knows. Everybody's just excusing it because I'm daft as a brush. Anyway, got these to remind myself who I am from time to time. If I forget, I just need to look down, think, prompt, K. What's my name again? Oh, Kim. There we go. Or maybe Kate. That's a joke for if you're watching me one of my other videos about my pal who calls me Kate. Anyway, I'm over explaining. That's my slippers. And then I were having a look at the sale things and I seen this. It says £2, it won't, it were a quid. But I'm collecting trinket dishes now, you see. That's an, another collection I've got. So I seen this one that had a K on it and I thought, oh, I'll have that. It's quite heavy as well, you know. It's very pretty, I like it. Might be one of my favourite ones I've got so far, this. Yeah, I loved it. Just little trinket dishes are cute, aren't they? That can be a collection, can't it? I'm sure somebody else in the world must collect trinket dishes. Oh, it's, it's not peeling off properly. I'll wait till I've got time to dedicate to it. But anyway, that's my little trinket dish, which only cost me a quid. Okay. Then I've seen these and I thought these are just too good to miss. Right. So little sets. They were so cheap. Two pounds for a little set. Right. I bought two. Because I just loved them. Because they've not only got pencils in for my pencil collection. Some are coloured pencils as well, you know, with cuties on them. But they've also got biros for my little pen collection. And they've got a little notebook for my notebook collection. Look. I thought they were amazing. Let's open one. So these are all pencils. The plain ones, you know, the ones that are just the HB pencils have got like little raindrop things on them. And then the coloured pencils have got some little cuties on them. And if you can see them, there they are, like that. Really nice, liked them. So that's my pencils. And then my pen collection, got two here. One that's got hearts and stars on it. Well, I like that. Like that very much. This might be a drawback when you can't get the lid off. Oh, there we go. So it's just like that. And then the other one's got little cuties on little pandas and cats and all that kind of stuff. Look at that. They're cute, aren't they? I like those. And then a teeny weeny notebook. Look. How cute. It ain't got out on pages, but you know, for two quid for all lot. I didn't think that were bad at all. Are they supposed to be marshmallows then, I think? So, yeah. So, two sets of those, £2 each. It were not for, for them. And I get the added advantage. I've got a rubber there and a pencil sharpener. Great. I'll sharpen all these pencils before I put them in my pencil collection. And then I got a plan. Right. Now, I've been to range um, and I bought a couple of bits that I needed plants for. Right. For in-house. So you'll see those if you watch my range all. I think it'll be after these, after this B&M one. But anyway, this is one of plants that I've got for it. I just loved it. It's te It was a tenner, so it's quite a price, you know. But it's so very different to the other plants that I've got, you know, in the design of it. And it were all bushy, which is exactly what I wanted. I'm not so keen on pot at bottom, if I'm honest. But I think I might put it inside another pot. And then it'll hide it. It's got like pretend pebble, pebbly stuff on top. Well, they're not pretend pebbles, are they? They're actual pebbles on top that's glued down. But like I say, I think I'll stick it in a different pot, like maybe a white one or something like that. And then it'll just look really pretty. I loved it. 
I looked at them for ages before I made my mind upon this one because there were so many lovely ones, a lot of which I've actually got already, you know. But, you know, what can you do? I, I love greenery around place and I can't kill them, like I keep saying. So it's like, you know, they'll last forever, won't they, these? They just need dusting. I don't mind dusting. It's taking dead plants out that I object to, you know. And I find with plants anyway, it's always like bits of soil come out of them and stuff. So I end up having to clean up after them anyway. So, yeah. I know these don't oxygenate the air, though. I am aware of that. But that's why we've got windows. So you open a window, get a bit of air in, we're good to go. You know. I rarely felt that I was suffocating in a room with a window. You know what I mean? So, anyway... Got that one. And then, this is second to last thing. Plonk down on one at surfaces. that I don't even know where it came from because I never found rest of them. Were this? It was £3. It's just like a pretend succulent. But I just loved that on front. I thought it was so pretty. I really liked it. I got some stuff from Range that's in a very similar colour scheme. It's over there. Um, and I, I thought it would go with them. You know, it's it, it. I just loved it. I loved the little succulent thing at the top. I loved this design on it. And I loved the little white pot as well. So if you're fed up of that design, you can always turn it round. But for three quid, like I say, this was only one I spotted. I didn't see any more like it in the shop. So, yeah, it's lovely though. I just loved it. And then when I thought that was going to be my favourite thing at week. Oh, no. Wait till you see this one. Look at this little fella. It's a little elephant. How cute is that? This was slightly more. This was £5. It's got a different, slightly darker succulent on it. But I just loved him. Look at his little eyes. They're like little stars. Oh, he's so cute. It looks like one of those stitched elephants. Look, it's like got stitching round it. I just loved it. It's from the Boho Desert Collection. It's beautiful. And the thing is, I've got a little money box. What I've had since I was a tiny tot, you know, I think my grandma bought it for me when I was a baby. And it's in an elephant shape. So this is going to sit with that money box so in house. They're gonna have, it's going to be an elephant pal for my money box. So, yeah, I loved it. So that's my last thing that I got at B&M. Little cutie. It's so cute. So chance to have a plan... And a cute plant, uh, wasn't it? You know, it was too good an opportunity to miss for me, that. So that's everything from b and M. It It wasn't such a nice time because my partner wasn't there. And sometimes he picks up stuff and I wonder what on earth he's getting. But, you know, he did come to range with me, so that was nice. Because they were working when I went to B&M, so there were no what he could do about it, you know. I had that or he was just avoiding me. Or avoiding B&M because I take him there all the time. You know, come on, let's go to B&M. You know, happen it with that. But anyway, um, it, it was still good fun. Well, it lasted, you know, and I had a nice trip round. But if you've liked this video, please give us a like. And if you like this kind of content, you might want to consider subscribing. I've left all my contact details in the description box below. And if you could manage to bring yourself to follow us on Instagram, I've got some giveaways that I'm going to put entirely on Instagram in the future. Not at the moment, but maybe when I've got a few more people following me. Because at the moment, I'd be probably doing giveaways to one of my kids. You know what I mean? But anyway, if you if you want to follow us on Instagram, that would be really helpful. And you might get a chance to enter into some of my giveaways. A fairly average mum. Not too taxing to remember there. But anyway, um, on all the details are in the description box. So, But thank you very much for taking a few moments out of your day to spend with me. Bye!